everybody's here, right? Sam, uh, Gerald? Or is it Sam I am? Uh, Sam I am? Not here. Uh, is he in the, he's in the lift here. He comes right now. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Gregory. Let's not overdo it because there's a camera in the room. Let's try this again. Good morning. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Greg. Thursday, December 15th, 2022. Pre transfer verification process, part uno. Performing a thorough and accurate free transfer verification is a critical step in our process. Uh, we do it for every load. Make sure uh, we're reviewing things that an operator must do prior to calling in the verification, such as ensure everything is already set up. You're standing at the rail car indicated on, on the inspection <coughs> form. The rail car is secure for movement with a handbrake and wheel chocks. The appropriate equipment is staged next to the car, be it a track, a truck, a rack, or a pump, or whatever. Make sure it's correct, uh, like dedicated for that product. Make sure the trailer stage and make sure it's correct, got the correct trailer number in accordance with whatever the loading inspection form says. Never call in a verification prematurely. I've seen people do that, uh, not recently, but certainly, you know, people call in and, and uh, I've also seen it where they've already started to load, like methanol in particular, and you know, the pump's going in the background. Yeah. <laughs> and her calling it in. I mean, that's not okay. Can't do it that way either. Never call in verification prematurely. Call it in after the rail car is secure, after the equipment's position, after the truck arrives, and before opening any valves. Verify the setup versus the inspection loading form. Once you verify it against the paperwork, make sure you're using good radio etiquette. Get the attention of the coordinator before proceeding. Uh, get verbal acknowledgement that they're ready for you and they have the correct audit number in their hand, and don't read off the paperwork. Why is that? Yeah. Jeremy. Make sure it's the right rail car, the right trailer. Why would you not read off the paperwork? Because the paperwork could be wrong. No. no. The paperwork is exactly what they're looking at. So you read the exact same thing. So it doesn't matter, right? If, you read, if you're reading off this piece of paper, so and they're looking at here, you wouldn't, it'd be you wouldn't know. So what so I said the first time was right. Though. So you read off the rail car and the truck. In Jeremy Land, probably so. <laughs> um, when you call in on the radio, don't read all the paper. Make sure the read back from the office is correct. And what's the last line of defense, Mr. Jared Davis? Um, tag. Uh, tag is start correct. time. That guy gets a Daniel Webster cigar. Start time. That's the last start time. Us. Start time. Yeah, you got to have a start time on that. How do you handle a split, Daniel? How do you handle a split? For the start times. I just, if it's a split, I write it to the left, and that way it leaves a little bit of space to the right. That way you don't have to write them. Yep, all right. Uh, track gang's down there working on 20 where those cars are split apart, where 21 merges into 20 on the lead. Uh, they're going to put a crossing in. So uh, be aware of that. Just keep an eye out on them. Make sure they don't get backed over by any. Quantex drivers or anybody, because they do a lot of work out there than Quantex does. Uh, that are probably going to go on for the next two days. Two days. So I'm bidding, betting on three with the rain. And they're we'll replacing a bunch of uh, ties down there to. It's tie. Yeah, Ty does. Ty is the uh, uh, straw boss down there. He does a great job. So it might be two days, but I'd just be prepared for three. <coughs> the. Uh, New side by side has arrived with Polaris. I went out in it uh, with Don yesterday afternoon. Rides great. Rides like a Buick. It's a diesel. Everybody hear that diesel? Diesel. Uh, diesel. Green gas cap. Green gas cap. So it's diesel. Um, and it is marked diesel, by the way, on the caps. So you're aware of that. But in dark conditions, I have some concerns with it. So I've asked. 
Daniel and Jared to jump in it tomorrow morning. Get Jared's up to snuff. Try it out. Uh, the headlights are a little weak on it. I found some alternatives there. We may look at putting a light bar on it because the primary job of that thing is going to be going down 17 and 19, checking rail cars down there for the track check. So we may put a light bar across it. I found one that would mount up pretty quickly with that. And first week of gun season. Yes, and for first week of gun season, if you find deer down there, you can do barbecue. Also, the mirrors pretty lousy because it's just got one convex mirror in the cab and you can't really see outside the cab. So I found some uh, <coughs> mirrors for the outside for the doors. And, it, and uh, there is pre-wired for dome lights in there. So we'll explore that too. It looks like everything is plug and play on the bus. So we, we got some options on that, but I'll have to do some more research on it. So, um, I think that is all that I have. Uh, I know we've talked about this a hundred times, but uh, I'll give you an example. So, Dash, if you can't get it open, ask for assistance. We'll put somebody on the other side of the bar. If you're hanging on it and bouncing up and down and all that good stuff like that, all that's going to happen is somebody's going to pull a muscle, hurt their back, whatever it may be, or maybe even push it so they hurt their fingers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Noise smashed up. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that happens, don't try, don't kill yourself. We'll just call an MRU. That's what their job is to do. So I don't want to see anybody here get hurt whatsoever. So let's make the phone call. However, piggybacking on that, thank you for stopping the process. Yes, that was awesome. Because that was that's awesome. the right thing to do. Yep. And, so. and but, but he's right. You know, I mean that's uh, stuff on track. that's a job for the MRU. So. And some of these cars are pretty tired. The Lord knows they might have been derailments <coughs> or hard couplings and. We actually had a car in Cincinnati that was bent, so those slide gates wouldn't come exactly. you know, slide out at all. Because a lot of times they just drop that product on there and it goes straight down, yeah. hits that, it'll bend it. So, all right. But you know, I appreciate the efforts, but let's not get hurt. I mean, especially right now it's Christmas <coughs> season. You know, I'll be laying in a bed. Huh, Jack? When, uh, when everybody else is having Christmas. <laughs> uh, number two thing I've got for today is the crossing that Greg was just talking about. It's going to be down on track 20. Almost all the way down where the tracks go across. So we're going to have to get some paint once they get that done to mark where, uh, I guess, the spot where they can't put any more cars. And Tasha, it looks like we're going to lose a car, possibly two. So for tonight's switch, do not place any cars on there unless you've got something coming off. On 20? On 20, yeah. Okay. So then also, along with that, goes the guys in the morning who are checking stuff out, let's make sure that those are also tied off and uh, the brakes on that, the handbrake set on that. So, other than that, that's all I got. Okay. It's a beautiful day outside. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> let's get things done. Uh, uh, we're down to slippery, sliding on top of these rail cars. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the temp's supposed to drop this afternoon and get down into the freezing for the next week or something. So, be watching out, especially on these rainy, sleety days. And I would have sworn I saw some snow earlier, but I know probably just the headlights on the Polaris. So. All right. Jack, anything, sir? Uh, split 7025 today. Okay. We got all the cars heated, right? Split 7025? Uh, I know we started it yesterday. I haven't been out there to check it today. It's on heat. It's on heat right now. Yeah. I don't know what it's uh, We probably, probably need to throw that uh, in the car with like 8,000. Okay. Mike, would you head that up? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Take Rob with you. Will do. Rob, I want you on everything involving SIR uh, as much as possible. We have, we have visitors coming in on the 16th to do a full blown audit on SIR. So, yep. Right. Jack, anything else? We got this. Angela? Nope. Billy yeah, Johnson of Quantex fame? With Fred. Fred? We don't know. Fred didn't show up today, and I don't think he was feeling well yesterday. So yes, I, I will tell you. I wouldn't read it off that text. It's hard telling what he said. Yeah. Uh -huh. still messed up, quote unquote. <laughs> Fred's still messed up, Billy. Well, Tasha, thanks for your concern. No. Yeah, thank you. Tasha? <coughs> no. Mistletoe? Thank you for knowing what it is. Um, no, I was naming you that. Huh? Miss Old Toe.
have an interview at 10 o'clock with somebody, I think. Yes, we do. Okay. And the bagels, if anybody wants them. All right. Miss Candy. This Roberto. Um, I guess a couple of three inches. One, I'd rate because it's, you know, air it out. Hey, you guys, pay attention. He's talking about I'd rate. here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the other thing, too, is let's try to keep our uh, gas powered vehicles off the uh, yards around flammables. And uh, finally, I just, I don't think we, we thank this person enough. Uh, they do a lot here. Um, they bring in stuff for us all the time. They wear always wear fun stuff in their head. Uh, Jess, thanks for giving putting a yeah. big smile on everybody's face. Thank you for everything you bring in, candy, and obviously the bagels today. Um, I, but, sure, uh, I was sure you were talking about Doc. I was. Well, he does wear fun stuff in his head from time to time. Um, yeah, it's, I just want to. I just want to make sure that we're thanking Jess for everything she does here, um, and all the great work that you do. Now that we've come to an understanding on syrup, I appreciate that as well. <laughs> Try. Uh, that's all I got. That's all right, Rob? Yeah, I'd just like to say, since we're on the theme of thanking, <laughs> that I've been here a little over a month now, and I'd just like to thank everybody for being so welcoming to me and uh, patient and teaching me all the processes that are going around here. I know, Greg, these past couple safety meetings, you've been saying that uh, us new guys, that being me, Sam, and Jeremy, are, have made like excellent additions to the team. That, I don't opinion. think I said that. That, that, <laughs> can't, that can't be seen. Regardless. <laughs> I, in my opinion, that is in due no short part of all you guys training us. So, <clears throat> you paying these guys? These guys. Are you, are you paying them? No. <laughs> We're paying them. Them. <laughs> them. Well, you guys are doing a good job. And again, things like learning syrup and, and oil and so forth. But stopping the process like Jeremy did today. Jeremy did an excellent job, by the way, cleaning out the conveyor yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, he and I worked together, and uh, he caught a lot of little certain fittings and things that need to be repaired. You guys are, are catching them. That's really, that, that's a tribute to all.